Right now I'm going to just read a quote from Edward Mendel House and what he had to say in a private meeting with Woodrow uh, Wilson, president between 1913 and 1921, from the private papers of Woodrow Wilson. Quote, Very soon, every American will be required to register their biological property in a national system designed to keep track of the people, and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging. By such methodology, we can compel people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as chargeback for our fiat paper currency. Every American will be forced to register or suffer not being able to work and earn a living. They will be our chattel, and we will hold the security interest over them forever by operation of law merchant under the scheme of secured transactions. Americans, by unknowingly or unwittingly delivered the bills of ladening to us, will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent forever to remain economic slaves through taxation secured by their pledges. They will be stripped of their rights and given commercial value designated to keep us a profit that will be none the wiser. For not one man in a million could ever figure out our plans. And if by accident one or two would figure it out, we have in our arsenal plausible deniability. After all, this is the only logical way to fund government, by floating liens and debt to the registrants in the form of benefits and pledges. This will inevitably reap us huge profits beyond our wildest of expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud, which we will call social insurance. Without realizing it, every American will insure us for any loss we may incur, and in this manner, Every American will unknowingly be our servant, however begrudgingly. The people will become helpless without any hope for their redemption, and we will employ the high office of the president as our dummy corporation to foment this plot against America. Having established plausible deniability, even if people become enlightened, that they had a remedy and pursued it, the attorneys, judges, and legislators could claim that they did not understand the people's claims, especially if the technical requirements for achieving it were not followed pursuant to statutory requirements. Requiring the public schools to teach civics, government, and history classes out of federally approved politically correct textbooks written by the publishing houses owned by the owners of the Federal Reserve would assure that the people would not discover the remedy for a long time, if ever. I would recommend that everyone read Fruit from a Poisonous Tree by Melvin Stamper, M-E-L-V-I-N Stamper, S-T-A-M-P-E-R, that is fruit from a poisonous tree. This is out of chapter two of Fruit from a Poisonous 